Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bill Moore. Okay, on today's review, I'm going to be talking about several different products for a company that is located up in Cambridge, Ontario, in Canada. And uh, they sent me all of their products to review, and I'm going to be talking about all of them on this one review because they are very similar. And the name of the company is Portugalo Sauces. And they say it tastes great on everything. Now, that does come in these large 12-ounce uh, size bottles. Um, these are very unique, very different, so I'm very excited to share these uh, uh, products with you. Um, all five products are very slim, similar once again, but I believe you can divide them up into uh, kind of two different categories. They have the mild, uh, they have one uh, a little bit hotter called hot, and then they have the flaming, uh, which is, uh, as you can see, uh, they put a little bit more uh, chili pepper uh, in this one. And then they've got some ones uh, with uh, made with a lot more garlic. So these two are the garlic sauce. Uh, really nice looking labels on here. Very professionally done. You got the uh, Facebook and the uh, Instagram logos on there. And then they have the, uh, the spicy garlic. All right, so uh, really unique products. Uh, let me go ahead and read what it says on the side here. It says, taste best on chicken. Now, when I first uh, tasted these sauces, um, it kind of reminded me of a peri-peri uh, sauce, a Portugal uh, a style sauce or marinade for chicken, uh, because we'll get into it a here in a little bit, but th these use a lot of oil. Uh, so uh, let me go ahead and read what it says. It says, excellent for grilling, saute, marinade, meat, sandwiches, dipping, wings, stews, ribs, eggs, pizza, fish, Poutine, all right. Now, poutine, in case you didn't know, is a Canadian dish. I think it originated in Quebec, uh, but it is uh, basically French fries topped with cheese curds and then uh, a brown gravy. Uh, well, just skip the gravy and just put some of this Portugal on there. That'd be awesome. Uh, pasta soups, the possibilities are endless. Now, I happen to agree this stuff can be used on just about anything. Uh, but as we'll see as I share uh, later on in my review, it definitely tastes awesome on, on chicken. Well, let me go ahead and read the ingredients. Now, once again, the ingredients between the mild, the hot, and the flaming are pretty much the same. I just think they use uh, more chili uh, peppers. It may be chili flakes uh, that they're using uh, in, in the hot one and in the flaming one. Uh, but here's the ingredients. We start off with garlic, salt, cayenne peppers, apple cider vinegar, water, garlic powder, soy oil, which is soybean oil, uh, distilled vinegar, peppers, xanthan gum, lemon juice from concentrate, citric acid, spices, uh, vegetable and or canola oil, sodium benzoate, sodium metabisulfate, and sulfates. May contain peanuts, tree nuts, uh, milk, soya, mustard, wheat, and sesame. All right, Portugalo. Um, now, as you can see, these uh, sauces are very, very uh, smooth and creamy and rich looking. Now, once again, uh, they are extremely oily. And I did a little bit of research, and I think the cuisine of Portugal, or a traditional piri-piri sauce or a marinade for chicken, uh, uses a lot of oil, whether it be canola oil or olive oil or soybean oil, uh, but a lot of lemon juice and cayenne peppers or some other kind of peppers, of course, and lots and lots of garlic. Uh, so that's just the way these type of sauces are. So if you do not like oil, uh, then you probably will not like these sauces. That's just the, the style that they are. Um, as you can see in there uh, with the hot one, it's got a little bit more of the, uh, the chili pepper flakes. And with the uh, flaming, you can definitely see a lot more oil in there. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do a taste test on uh, one of these and I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you what I uh, cooked up with this one. Now the aroma on this is really, really nice. Um, the more I use these, uh, the more I like them more and more. When I first uh, started using these, I said, wow, these things are extremely oily, uh, but it kind of grows on you. They're very, very good. Uh, you can smell the garlic, you can smell that nice citrus, uh, lemon, um, zestiness, smell a little bit of the vinegar, but wow, just a really uh, nice aroma. Look at that, nice and creamy and rich, and once again, very, very oily. Mm. 
kind of gives it a nice buttery richness. Uh, very, very oily. Once again, I know I keep saying that, but that's just the way these sauces are. Um, now, here's a picture of what I cooked up with the, um, actually, I used the uh, the hot one, a lot more of the hot one in this particular dish. Uh, dish. I cooked up some uh, uh, pierogies with uh, sausage, peppers, and onions, and uh, put the uh, the uh, Portugal hot on there and it was really really good so it's just something that I think uh, you want to use these uh, you can use it straight on the top of food even on eggs in the morning it's very very good but I think these are the type of sauces that really really shines when you cook with them uh, especially with chicken which we'll show you here in a minute now on the uh, the garlic one um, I think the uh, the ingredients are pretty much the same except that they just um, use a lot more garlic. I'm going to go ahead and read the, the ingredients on the garlic one here. This is a little bit different. Canola oil, aged cayenne red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, natural flavor, garlic powder, peppers, citric acid, fresh garlic, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice from concentrate, xanthan gum, and sodium benzoate. Uh, so the ingredients with the garlic ones uh, is definitely a little bit different. Uh, but your same, you know, basic recipe of with the canola oil and the uh, cayenne peppers and the vinegar and so forth. Yeah, it's just that there's more chili peppers in the uh, the spicy garlic one. Let me show you what this one looks like. Now, this one happens to be my favorite of all of them. I really enjoy the garlic one. It pretty much looks the same. But wow, the garlic really comes through. Mmm. Yeah, really, really nice on this one. Now for the garlic, um, I did put this on chicken, so I marinated overnight uh, some chicken breast. I had a chicken thigh and two legs and then grilled those up. There's a picture of it right there with some Spanish style rice with peppers and tomatoes. And it was amazing. So really, really good stuff. Highly recommended. Um, for the, uh, the regular ones, the mild, the hot, and the flaming, I would give these a strong 8 out of 10. And they're not that spicy to me, so I'd give it a one, a two, and a three. One for the mild, two for the hot, and three for the flaming. And uh, on the uh, garlic, this happens to be my favorite. I would give this a uh, strong nine out of ten for flavor. Uh, heat, uh, two for the uh, regular garlic, and I guess a three uh, for the spicy garlic. So really, really cool products. Great tasting products. Uh, definitely you want to get your hands on these and try these and it is just amazing on chicken. You got to try it. And I'd also like to give a shout out to my friend Ken, um, Kendall Statler from tastingtheheat.com. We're only the best sauces and spicy foods are reviewed. So give him a, a shout out. Uh, check him out. Uh, he did an awesome job reviewing Portugal sauces. Uh, so uh, make sure you check out his channel and uh, you can find him on Facebook. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and the uh, website is tastingtheheat.com, so make sure you check him out as well. All right, guys, thank you very much for sending your products. I do appreciate it. I will put the link in the description for how you can uh, get a hold of uh, Portugal sauces. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you on the next video.